this is this is your decision. I mean, I brought DPZ in, but this is really your decision. I want you to take ownership of it. But anyway, I'll just what I'm going to do is uh, so this is Andreas Duani from Duan Duani Platter Zyber. You know, I've read your documents so far. I too am very impressed. The clarity, the brevity, the precision of the vision is something that we can very easily work with. The developer seems to be more than committed to, you know, a very idealistic vision. So at least at the moment, and we're, I'm only at the beginning of this, I think this has every chance of becoming a really spectacularly important community. And what I'd like to do is engage more in some of the things that you said. One of you mentioned that, and I believe another one, and several of you implied it, that this, is, that this was not a, a, a complete community. Probably you're referring to uh, the loss of children that you have, you know, the closing of schools, the, the monoculture that it's become. This is very typical of this vintage of town. It was done in the 60s. It was houses. It was bought by young people who had children. And at one time, it was a young community with young kids. And then because it was, bought as a co it was purchased as a cohort, people grew older, and the kids grew older, then you lost the kids. And what a community like this now needs is to complete itself by attracting younger people. Cities that have sprawl tend to decay. And you have completely avoided that, but you still have the sprawl. And the new urbanism, when it was born, you know, three decades ago, it was all about that. It was about restoring community and walkability, particularly for young people who had to be driven around. It was, and that's what drove it. And then came global warming. And the very latest take on it is that it isn't just the buildings. In fact, that between 30 and 60 percent of the carbon loading is from driving around. And that is just coming out, you know, and people are just amazed by this, that uh, it's the driving around for ordinary daily things that is causing much more. And so that's what's driving it now. You know, at least I believe in the, in the multinodal city and that every center should be relatively complete. And yes, you go downtown to get a really good suit of clothing, to get first-rate entertainment, you know, which you're not going to find here, to get hospital, to go to university, but, but everything else is, is balanced locally. So maybe this is the maturing of this city that you're all looking for, because it isn't just about growth, because you can get a monstrously huge baby, you see? It's about maturing. What you're proposing here is absolutely the next model, the next model of new urbanism, the next model of, of town planning, the fu literally the future. And the emphasis on, uh, on agriculture and growing your own food is uh, very much in the air. Oh, God, everybody's talking about it. The books that come out are bestsellers. You hear about the restaurants that, you know, Alice Waters restaurants. I have been to conferences in Europe that are about this, but no one has built it yet. And that's really exciting. You know, it's terribly exciting to see how self-sufficiency in, um, in foodstuffs will, uh, what kind of town that shapes. It's really, frankly, it's very exciting to me. 